The Snapdragon 765 is an interesting processor at the top end of the 700 series, but how does it compare to, say, the Exynos 9820? Well, today we're going to be testing the ZTE Axion 11 with the Snapdragon against the Galaxy S10e with the Exynos 9820. Which one do you think is going to win? Well, let's find out. So we have the ZT Action 11 or the ZT Action 11 with the Snapdragon 765G on the left hand side. We have the Samsung Galaxy S10e with the Exynos 9820 on the right hand side. Both are running in 1080p and we're all into the SQL Lite test and pretty much neck and neck at this point as we go into the Jason test. Not much between them and look at that. Yes, definitely the Galaxy S10e is in the lead at this point. It was the first into compression test taking the lead over the ZT Axon 11 with the Snapdragon 765G and it looks like the way that progress bar is going that the lead is being maintained by the S10e. Yes, there it is as it goes into the 16th thread test. And of course, both of these processors are octa-core processors. The configuration though is quite radically different in both of them and we'll talk more about that in a moment but definitely the Exynos 9820 in the Galaxy S10e is one. It's gone straight through into the blur test first so it is now the first into the mix CPU GPU. In fact it's coming out of the blur test now while the Snapdragon 765G is in the blur test into the infinite scrolling list on the right hand side. The question is what will be the frame rate that we will see in the smoke particle test that will be coming up in a moment and here it is now already on the right hand side What's the number we're going to see? An indication 19 frames a second, indication of the 2D power there as it's now going into UT test. And on the left hand side, we see the ZT Axion is also now in the smoke particle test. And it's 19 frames a second. So in the 2D graphics, it seems to be pretty much the same. But we're already now in duty test. And that does look a little slow. The, the 10 S10e is definitely in the lead. Oh, look how much smoother it is on the left hand side. This is quite a difference between the two. And this. It's a good opportunity to talk about the difference between these two, of course. The 765G has got one quarter's A76 core clocked at 2.4 gigahertz and another A76 core clocked slightly lower and then six A55 cores, whereas the Exynos has got two custom cores by Samsung. Oh, and already the Exxon is into the Unreal test. As I was talking about the CPU configurations, it was the first into the test and only now is the S10e going into the test. And as I was saying, the M two M4 cores, two A75 cores and four cores with A55 cores and of course when it gets to the GP we're looking at the difference between the Adreno 620 and the Mali G76 MP12 and definitely I think there we go yes 2 minutes 15.0 for the Snapdragon 765G in the ZTE Axion 11. On the right hand side, we're waiting for the Galaxy S10 to get through the rest of that forest scene. What's it gonna be? There we go, two minutes, 28.2. Okay, let's break down those scores and see exactly what happened. So as we saw there, a win by the ZT Axon 11 with the Snapdragon 765G, two minutes, 15 seconds, and then 13.2 seconds later came in the Galaxy S10e at 228.2, but it's not a simple story. Look at this, when you look at the CPU, 54.4, versus 47.8 so a win by the s10e of 6.6 .6 seconds then we go into the mix cpu gpu test 29.5 for the axon 11 and then 25.8 for the s10e so again another win by the galaxy s10e by 3.7 seconds but then when you get to the gpu everything gets turned around the other way around 51 seconds for the axon 11 whereas it's one minute 14.5 for the uh, S10e, which is a difference of 23 and a half seconds. And so all of those wins in the CPU and mix for the S10e were just thrown away when we get into that GPU test. And therefore, overall, the Axion 11 wins at 2 minutes 15.0. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this test between the Axon 11 and the Galaxy S10e. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, well, please stick around by subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.